Okay, next up is Grandparents Are Grand, the Season 2 version, which I had seen on Sprout, and I thought it was okay. We see, like, Derek's granddad visiting him, and we also see Kathy's Nana. This one's really shocking that they aired on Sprout, because it has the Who Took the Cookie song, which was removed on one of the Barney DVDs, which, yeah... I mean, does anyone else find that weird? Because I can't be the only one. Not only that, there's another episode like that. But we'll get to that later. But yeah, so this was an okay episode. I mean, it's a pretty generic episode. But yeah. Next up is May I Help You. This is an episode a lot of people like to talk about. Where, they're pretending, where Derek's pretending to be a teacher. I noticed on the list of classroom helpers, there's names like Sarah and Lydia and all these characters I've never seen on the show. And then there's names of characters that I have seen on the show, but not at that time. There's a kid named Jesse. I don't know if it's the same Jesse from Fun and Games. There's also a kid named Danny. But seriously, who the heck is Lydia, though? Lydia is mentioned quite a lot on the show. So, yeah. I mean, seriously, that seemed a bit weird. But, yeah. I was actually kind of surprised when they sang There Are Seven Days in a Week. Because I was expecting at the end of the song for them to say, Barney's birthday! Like, I was literally expecting that to happen. No, instead they sing the song in Spanish. Which isn't even properly in Spanish. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, in the Spanish version of the episode, I know this because it's on one of the Spanish soundtracks. Uh, the song, they actually do sing the song in Spanish, and then they start singing in English. So, yeah. So, yeah. Also, Baby Bob counts ten fish. I thought she didn't know how to count to ten. Seriously. It's one of the first times we see them turning off the uh, classroom lights before they leave, but... Yeah, that would happen in a season one episode, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they have a song about turning off the lights that was never used again after that. I saw this on Sprout, though, so I guess that seems fair. But yeah. Ah, uh, next up is Red Balloon Circles 2, which is on this Colors and Shapes 2-pack video. And like I said, only pictures from the Treasure Rainbow Beard show up on this. But yeah, we see Tina broke her arm, apparently, and that's kind of a running gag that's used in this season. That and another one that we'll talk about later. And yeah. And they learn about all different kinds of colors and shapes. I mean, this video is called Colors and Shapes, so what the hell did you expect? But yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a good episode. It's the first time we hear one of my favorite Barney songs, Wave the Flags. It's a really awesome song. And I actually really liked listening to this one when I was little. Because before then, I actually did listen to the version of the song from Barney's Musical Castle. And that one sounded so generic. This version of the song sounds so different. Maybe it's because this is the only episode to have that version. So yeah. I mean, I like both versions, but yeah. Yeah, I, this episode's okay, I guess. Actually, coincidentally, um, Painting the Shapes, the Rainbow Song, and Old Brass Wagon are on both episodes on this two-pack video. Yeah, that's so ironic. One uh, blockbuster video, actually, some blockbuster video tapes have that as well. I already did a video on them, so I really don't have to talk about them this time. Next up is Honk Honk Goose on the Loose. Practically the only Mother Goose episode to not get a home video release. Because every other episode has got at least some sort of home video release. This one did not. The only thing that comes close is a Barney clip show that shows clips from uh, one small scene from this episode. Which I'll talk about that later. There's also some scenes showing up in the intro, but yeah... So apparently, um, Clarence, Mother Goose's goose, of course, has escaped, so they have to find a way to get him back. Yeah, apparently. So yeah, it's kind of a sad episode. 
It's actually kind of confusing, though, that she's outside of her book, and yet a picture of her is still inside the book. I mean, if you remember in Let's Help Mother Goose, when she was out of the book, like, she completely disappeared from the book's cover. Like, yeah. So, yeah, she has to return the book to the library. I don't know why she couldn't just, like, walk to the library without Clarence. But, yeah. Um... Yeah, it's a good episode, I guess. Uh, what's next? Um, by the way, I hate the season two version of the I Love You song. I just hate it. I'm so sorry. I just do. But yeah. But some uh, season two episodes actually use an alternative version uh, that sounds similar to the version from season one, which I guess that seems fair. Who's in the forest? Oh god, not this episode. So, yeah, apparently they go into the forest. And I've noticed uh, a lot of people said it's the same forest set from Magical Musical Adventure. Which I sadly noticed that when I first saw clips from this uh, episode on a clip show that I got from the library one time. Yeah, before I saw this on Sprout, I saw clips from it on that video. And I was kind of shocked when I saw it on TV. But, yeah, it even has silly sounds in it. You know, the worser version of Silly Hat. I'm sorry, but it's a horrible song. But yeah, and there's a scary bear. I'm just glad it's not the bear from bringing Campfire Sing Along, because that bear was scary. But yeah, it's the last time we sing the frog on the log, and it's not even in the Hebrew version. I've noticed in the Hebrew version, though, the uh, frog kind of sounds like a duck. By the way... This is made during Season 2 of the Hebrew series. Season 2 of the Hebrew series did Seasons 2 and 3. They also did some Season 1 episodes, which was kind of shocking, in my opinion. And out of all of these Season 2 Hebrew episodes, only four of them I can find online. They're very, very rare. So, yeah. Like, they're probably even more rare than most Korean Barney episodes. And that's saying quite a lot. But yeah, I guess it seems fair to have this episode, though. This is an episode everyone knows about. I kind of wish, though, that this got released on video entirely here in America. But no, it's just on that clip show and on Sprout, I guess. It seems fair. But actually, the Hebrew version uses the Season 1 version of the I Love You song. Damn, I wish this episode did only seven season two episodes use the alternative I Love You song in this season. Like, that's so sad. I wish there was at least two more episodes with that. But yeah. I can do that. I mean, why isn't it called I Can Do It? Could it be confusing because of the Kid Songs episode, I Can Do It? This came before that Kid Songs episode. I mean, Kid Songs was still around when this happened. But that, this episode came before that episode. So, yeah. This is a weird story that they're reading called Mama, Do You Love Me? <laughs> they're reading a story about how a mom would love her daughter, even if there's, like, crazy stuff happening. Like, if she was a polar bear who was like, oh my god. That story was so weird, though. I've seen pictures of this episode online before I saw it on YouTube, and I thought it was okay, I guess. But, yeah. Actually, I was kind of shocked when they sang When I Grow Up, because I actually remember hearing the same exact version of the song, same exact recording on the Barney's Favorites Volume 2 album, which we'll talk about later. later. So, yeah. Was... Oh, yeah, it's the first episode to feature the Happy Dancing song, which I know a lot of people like for some odd reason. I mean, it's okay, I guess. The whole scene, the whole dance scene... Is like shot in one shot. Kind of reminds me of the falling down dance on the Teletubbies. How that's all shot in like one whole clip or whatever. But yeah. Um, Grown Up for a Day features the better version of Silly Sounds called Silly Hat. Which, yeah. Except here they get rid of all the MIDI sound effects. Since this is the first episode, we don't even have that many MIDI sound effects playing during the song. We had that in uh, the Season 3 episode, Classical Cleanup. Which, yeah. 
Yeah, this show uses a lot of MIDI music on the show, mostly during the older seasons, practically. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But this episode ruined my childhood, because friggin' Six Little Ducks song is different in this episode that was in Down on Barney's Farm or in Barney's Backyard Gang. It's actually, uh, it's actually ironic. Because Barney's Favorites Volume 1 actually did use the same version of the song from Down on Barney's Farm. And that actually had, I think, one or two songs from this episode. And yeah, apparently. But yeah, I mean, it's an okay episode. Lots of people are saying it should have some songs like What I Want to Be and Growing, which I guess seems fair. Hmm. I thought it was an okay episode, but finding a copy of this episode is hard. Like, seriously hard. But yeah. Picture this. This one's actually kind of strange. I think only, like, two copies of this episode are on YouTube. And one of them's the Sprout version, which, yeah. I'm kind of surprised that this, this episode's hard to find because it was on Sprout. Sprout copies of various episodes are very easy to find. Yeah. So yeah, Sean has glasses on. So yeah. And it has the Everyone Special song, which I noticed has a slightly different instrumental than in Season 1. I don't really know why they did that, but I kind of like this version better. So yeah. I mean, this is a good episode. It's the first of three episodes where Tommy DePala guest stars. He was in like three episodes. Here he's like drawing like pictures of like cat and himself when he was little yeah i noticed this episode actually has the rainbow song which i was kind of surprised that they used that in two season two episodes i mean it's understandable using a song multiple times in season one because season one had 30 episodes and a lot of the episodes they use the same like recording of the song here in season two they use different recordings of songs which i guess seems fair but yeah, it's just so weird, though, hearing a song twice in the same season when it's not season one. What about Barney and Backyard Gang? That's a whole other story. Um, yeah, I think we're done here. And here's a sneak peek for what uh, next week's, or next part, I'm going to be talking about in the next part. What episode I'm going to be talking about in the next part. Someone's having a birthday party. And their brother's coming over to the party. See you soon.